Hello, this is Baki Munada and welcome to another crazy build for Legacy of the Void. It's uh, Terran vs Protoss and I call the build uh, Hammer Punch because it's based on the Hammer build which is like Marauders and Mines. Uh, okay, I'll just commence with the build. Uh, first you start with your depot, then you get your gas. Uh, the, my opponent is roughly the same level. I'm 164 GM and he's 163 GM, so uh, pretty even matchup. Uh, okay, you get your second gas and then you send your scut. Uh, I'll put the replay and spawning tool as usual so you can follow the guide. Get your second gas straight away and send your SUV scut and have a look and then start the reaper and um, I've spotted two gas so I think something cheesy is going on and uh, next I start my factory and then I'll bank up enough gas uh, once I start uh, it's Update. just to gauge the timings but about once I start the second factory and have roughly close to the second factory I'll take one guy off each gas and I'll build my reaper and just tap a quick scout. Uh, things don't go so well for me here as the adept kills my reaper. He gets a scout off but uh, I'll build a reactor next. And there's my second proxy factory and I'll just build another depot for map control and efficiency. Uh, next you'll try to you will do the swap with the racks in the reactor and get a tech lab and basically go into a sort of hammer build with mines and rotters. I sent one mine there earlier but he managed to get his adept there and kill it so uh, but lucky I'm always constantly building mines and I'll start my expansion. Uh, back here this is where you do your proxy shenanigans and that's basically the build and you just keep hitting mountain and eventually once he takes care of this I'll rip this factory here and begin siege tank production while I'm constantly producing mines and marauders and trying to rush him with it which goes for quite a nice uh, all-in-ish type build very pressure oriented it but you have two mines, one marauder and one tank constantly being produced I decided to go for an armory as well because um, I'm thinking of going for four but uh, it turns out I didn't really have enough gas for it so I just went with tanks but it, um, my previous build kind of had vulnerability to phoenixes just come in lifting up all the tanks but with this uh, you have all these mines to basically kill most of the anti-air you begin mackling. Uh, his income does get largely ahead as in um, this pressure build I need to do damage and sort of that oracle sort of killed a lot of my SVs so probably if I depot there earlier I would probably be okay against the oracle but this build is pretty safe and it allows you to put on a lot of pressure. Uh, I'll be starting stim at home as the first upgrade and just get what you can basically. Uh, that's the build. I guess I could just uh, talk about the rest of the replay and just talk about transitions. Back at home I'll be getting two more axes. It's pretty much normal. In my third class as you want to slowly add on your guesses. Uh, probably, well he has all these mines pinned so I can't really do anything. I did build a 4 but there's not much point to bit so I just run it away. Uh, I kind of expect him to actually kill this so I decide I might as well just start doing proxy mines on him again. But uh, yeah he spots it and then I uh, since he's distracted with this factory, I just go in straight here. He's totally caught unprepared. 
he managed to even up the scores. I think he was on like 57, so he killed about 20 probes of that, which was nice. But the good thing about having a lot of splash is they can sometimes just kill observers. And yeah, I got my third as well at some point. But basically, once the Protoss is kind of stabilized and you've stabilized, you want to go into double Liberator, like four Liberator production, and get your upgrades. I kind of like to go a lot of naked Raxes because uh, I want all my gas towards these Liberators, so I'm very light with the add ons in my staff. Uh, with this SE here, I see he's coming here, so I can just move over and defend this area. And I'm just doing a safe scan in case he sees my observer, and then I can watch out for the observer I see it here coming in, so I just clear that out and try to split as much as possible against these disruptors. And sort of with these four liberators, I feel quite secure at my third. Uh, next, I'm kind of like, may as well just keep expanding this, I may as well just get more ahead and keep building four liberators at a time and keep adding axes. But yeah, start. Uh, this is sort of like, instead of sensor towers, I would just build like depots everywhere and then. One of my SCBs spotted this army here, so it's actually not much of a loss at this stage, so I know I'm kind of safe here, I don't have to defend against anything. And since my army is starting to get pretty big, I can start multitasking and sending harassment units here and there. But with constant MMM and Liberator production in mind, it feels like a pretty solid comp against Protoss. And I just look at his third and go, yeah, I'm pretty well ahead here. And uh, usually you can test how good a player is by sort of like some harassment, but he's like just moved all his units, which shows he's, you know, he's just like 1A kind of thing, which means he's not not like super ghosty or anything but yeah a good protoss will like split their units like I'm, I am and I've got a lot of control groups basically just so I can control and I've got my harass which is three and two for my liberators and one for my main army while I'm macroing I'm just adding more meals and setting up and I'll just push on to the finale, which is just, like with this many liberators at this point, it's so difficult for the Protoss to engage with that other Tempest. He actually gets me really good there and I'm like, ugh. But, uh, we've got our OP unit, which is Liberator, and they've got their OP unit, which is the Disruptor, so it's kind of fine. And uh, that's built. I uh, hope you enjoy and if you like this build, uh, please subscribe.